Salaamu Alaikum, everyone. I want to welcome you to another uh, episode of the Zoom In on the Halal Metropolis series. Um, I'm Sally Howell. I'm the director of the Center for Arab American Studies at the U of M Dearborn. And I'm here today with a special treat. I'm interviewing Nada Shatila. She's the, the CEO, aren't you? The, the director of the Shatila Bakery? Yeah, vice president and uh, director. Mm -hmm. And she's also an alum of U of M Dearborn. We're proud of our, our, our alumni. Um, I love you of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad to hear it. Uh, so, tell me, um, so tell me first off how you and your family are doing. We're doing well, um, as well as can be in these times. You know, these are difficult times, but we're staying positive. We're staying at home. We're, you know, spending the majority of our time at home. So uh, I'd say, you know, I'm happy to say that we're doing healthy or we're being healthy and doing well. That's super. Well, so how is Shatila doing? How's the bakery doing? Um, it's doing well. Um, so we, we were actually shut down for a few weeks. Um, so we had shut down from March 27th until April 19th. And um, part of that was because there were so many unknowns out there due to the coronavirus. Um, you know, a lot of our customers had no idea what to do. People were hesitant to come in mm -hmm. and our employees as well. You know, everyone was understandably, understandably concerned and paranoid about the virus and whether or not they're going to get sick. So we shut down temporarily and we reopened um, right before Ramadan started on April 19th in anticipation of the season. Okay. And so how are you managing it? Because I know that your business is not a, I mean, it's, it's, um, you're the people who are behind the counter, they're working mm -hmm. like very closely with one another. So yeah. how are the, how are you managing all that? So we planned it very carefully before reopening. We followed the, you know, the CDC guidelines and whatnot. Um, we sanitized the area really well, um, both the front service counter and the back where we make some of our pastries. And um, we don't have a lot of employees right now. So that worked out um, because we're able to space them out. Mm -hmm. um, and we built partitions as well. Like if you were to walk into our bakery today, you would see that we have partitions um, on top of the counter in between the employees ordering and then or the employees helping the customers and the customers placing orders. Um, so physical barriers and then, you know, everyone is wearing masks. Even in the back, our cooks are all spaced apart from each other, six feet apart. They're not facing each other. So um, there's a bit of planning and some technical work, but we believe that we made it work to where it's safe enough for our customers and our workers. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. So, so, so what are, what have your sales been like this month? To be honest with you, um, back in, they got better, but back in March, um, and April, they significantly decreased because I mean, it was not only people walking in, it was also our shipping side because we have a shipping facility we ship out all across the US and worldwide. Um, so people were afraid to even order FedEx shipping to their homes. They weren't sure like if the virus could get into boxes or food, which it cannot get into the food. So there were no worries there. But I mean, at first the shipping was pretty low and so were in-person sales. So um, we've seen it come back up with the Ramadan season. Um, I'd say, you know, it's still less than it was last year, but it's to be expected. Um, but people are, I feel like people are starting to get more comfortable with their new normal. So um, we're getting more walk-ins. We're getting a lot of carry out orders. Um, and we also are getting more delivery orders too, as people are just more comfortable with, you know, going out for a little bit, wearing their mask and keeping a safe distance from other people. Yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm not surprised by anything you're telling me. I guess I, I would have thought that your mail order business, I mean, I can see that you took a hit initially that you would have taken a hit, but I would have think that right. the mail order would have just come back gangbusters because people, I live in Ann Arbor, I don't live in Dearborn. And so I have colleagues and friends who are sending me sweets from Dearborn yeah. <laughs> because they know I'm like Ramadaning in place here. And so they're trying to, they're trying to do a sister a favor, but, uh, actually anyway, you're correct. Mm -hmm. Um, 
sorry to cut you off, but um, the, this past week we've seen an increase. So we're surprised a little bit by that. But like you're saying, we do have people in Michigan that are starting to use our delivery services and our online services to ship to others. Um, so we are starting to see an increase in that. So that's, you know, that's a good thing for both our customers and ourselves. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. So how much would you say that you're off compared to last year? Do you have any idea? Um, I mean, I would say in the first few months, it was probably like 30%, 25%, which is obviously not good. But now I'd say, you know, as of this month, we're pretty even to oh. last year, which, you know, it's not, it's not every business's desired um, outcome, but it's pretty good considering what's going on with the virus. You can't have Ramadan without sweets. And, and the thing is, is people, um, usually people are so very social. They, you know, they visit each other all the time and people aren't able to visit as much. So, uh, but that doesn't mean that they're not, you know, providing sweets for one another and dropping sweets off at each other's houses and things like that. So, well, I'm, so I'm glad you you know, know things are coming back for you. Thank you. And it's, it's nice because, you know, it's nice for people to still be able to celebrate Ramadan, even, you know, during these trying times and even with all these uncertainties going on. Um, so it, it's nice to have people take advantage of like our carry out and our delivery and our FedEx shipping, because at the end of the day, whether it's remotely over Zoom or however people want to get together remotely with their families in a safe way, like they're still doing so. I know a lot of people in the Muslim community too. Um, I think being able to still celebrate and observe Ramadan was very comforting for them. Um, I know it was that way with our family. So, um, you know, it's, it's nice to still be able to come together as a community um, in any way possible. Well, that's, yeah, well, that's a, that's a good message. Mm -hmm. Well, so, um, so, so you've still got reduced staff because that's safer for everyone. So do you have any, any idea of when you'll be able to be back up at full? I mean, obviously you don't know that that just waits on the governor, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it does. It, it waits on her. I think she's making an announcement soon um, in terms of, you know, lifting some regulations. Um, I know we have some issues and I think some other small businesses are going through this right now where employees still do not feel totally safe to come back to work. Um, so that's part of it too. Like we're dealing with some people that are voluntarily not coming in because they're, you know, they're worried for themselves and their families, which it's an understandable thing. And it's an issue that a lot of people are having. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I think we're anticipating on coming back to business you know, to, to fuller capacity sometime in June, maybe July, we're hoping, but I mean, we can't really predict, um, to some extent, we can't really predict what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Well, hopefully by the next stage, you'll be, uh, you'll be back full, full capacity. Another thing that Nada has agreed to do, because her company is like, you know, fortunately, alhamdulillah, they're doing well this season, they're not suffering, uh, like we were worried. Uh, she's heard about the Ramadan lights contest that we're running, that, uh, that the Halal Metropolis team is running with Suhoor Fest and with the Michigan Muslim Community Council. And she has very generously offered to donate a box of sweets to each of the, the houses that win. So you're gonna make a very happy Ramadan or spreading <laughs> Ramadan here. And I, we can't thank you enough for, for supporting the contest in this way. Thank you so much. We, you know, you've always been there for the community. So. Thank you. It's our pleasure to be a part of it. We're very excited. I wish everyone there Ramadan Kareem. And Thank you. the Eid is this weekend, so I know that you're going to have a very busy weekend, and then hopefully yes. you'll, be able to, uh, you'll be able to <laughs> take a few days off and relax a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to you, and thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, and Ramadan Kareem to everyone. Thank you for having me.